Jose Mourinho, a managerial giant in the world of football, has enjoyed immense success throughout his career, marked by numerous domestic league titles, domestic cups, and UEFA Champions League triumphs. He has a reputation for being one of the most ruthless managers in football and stars from Chelsea, Manchester United and Inter Milan couldn't cope with his tough love. Of course, the Portuguese boss is one of the most successful managers of his generation, and while he's not everyone's cup of tea. However, even the most accomplished managers sometimes face challenges in extracting the best from every player. Here, we delve into the careers of some players who, for various reasons, failed to reach their full potential under the guidance of Jose Mourinho. Mohamed Salah Letting Salah slip away from under his fingertips has to be one of the biggest missteps in Mourinho's illustrious career. The Egyptian winger struggled to make an impression at Chelsea under Mourinho, and John Obi Mikkel recently revealed he reduced Salah to tears at one point. They were so unlucky that the boss, Mourinho, then didn't take any prisoners, Mikkel said on the Obi-Wan podcast. If you weren't doing your job, it didn't matter who you were, he would have a go at you. He had a go at Mohamed Salah at halftime once, and he was in tears crying. We thought, okay, he's gonna let him back on the pitch, but then he destroyed the kid and then pulled him off. Mourinho never saw the potential in Salah, and it's fair to say things worked out for the best in the end. After regaining his confidence in Italy, Salah returned to the Premier League like a new man with Liverpool in 2017, and the rest is history. Paul Pogba the enigmatic French midfielder, Paul Pogba, experienced a tumultuous relationship with Mourinho during their time together at Manchester United. Mourinho's tactical demands and Pogba's style clashed, resulting in periods of frustration for both player and manager. Pogba's creative prowess and flair were often stifled, and he failed to consistently showcase the brilliance that made him a world record signing. To be fair to Mourinho, it can be argued that several United managers struggled to get the best out of Pogba. However, given Mourinho's spiky personality, he was always going to butt heads with the Frenchman at some stage. The former United boss allegedly called Pogba a virus, which obviously didn't go down too well. They also clashed in 2017 after Mourinho was unhappy with Pogba traveling to Miami while recovering from an injury. It all started when I got injured, Pogba said in his Amazon Prime documentary. I decided to go to Miami for rehab and left. In Miami, a paparazzo photographed me with my wife Zule. Luke Shaw By now, it is well documented that Luke Shaw and Jose Mourinho do not see eye to eye, the pair enduring a miserable relationship during their shared time at Manchester United. Initially made public by Mourinho, Shaw has been the subject of vicious digs by the self-proclaimed special one for more than four years. But now, the England international has finally responded in spectacular fashion. The first jibe came all the way back in 2015, where Mourinho called Shaw's tactical nows and football brain into question after a 1-1 draw with Everton. Mourinho spent the entire 90 minutes ferociously barking orders at Shaw, before telling the media, after the full-time whistle, he was in front of me and I was making every decision for him. He has to change his football brain. We need his fantastic physical and technical qualities, but he cannot continue to play with my brain. Just two years later, Shaw was in the firing line again, his manager revealing to all who would listen that he cannot compare the way he trains with teammates, the way he commits, the focus, the ambition, he is a long way behind. Kevin De Bruyne, considered by many as the best playmaker of his generation, it still remains a mystery as to why Mourinho never gave De Bruyne much of a look in at Chelsea. Kevin De Bruyne is another player whose departure from West London has to go down as a blot on his old manager's copybook. The playmaker was never given much of an opportunity at Stamford Bridge and was eventually sold to Wolfsburg in 2013. It's been a blistering career for the 32-year-old, who has already established his name in the Premier League and contributed greatly to City treble-winning campaign. 
His skills have helped Manchester City to great heights. De Bruyne continues to defy expectations, and most importantly, Mourinho's scathing comments about him when he insisted his training was very bad have been made to sound ridiculous. However, for as long as the pair continue to come up against each other, fans will wonder exactly why the City star was cut loose by a man who should have one of the best eyes for talent around. I never went to Jose Mourinho. I trained hard, I showed enough. But it's a football myth that if you train well, you get chance," De Bruyne explained. Andriy Shevchenko Shevchenko had his moments in a Chelsea shirt, but his spell at Stamford Bridge was largely underwhelming. Mourinho shunted the Ballon d'Or winner out wide to accommodate Didier Drogba, and it wasn't long until the pieces started to fall apart. In some ways, Shevchenko was partly responsible for Mourinho's first dismissal at Chelsea. The Ukrainian who has been written off as a £30 million flop by the British media after his move from AC Milan. He claimed that he had become a pawn in the deteriorating relationship between Mourinho and Chelsea's billionaire Russian owner Roman Abramovich. Shevchenko managed just nine goals in 48 appearances for Chelsea and will go down as one of the most expensive flops in European history. But Shevchenko was often given the cold shoulder by Mourinho, whose relationship with the club's record buy became strained before the special one left Chelsea in 2007. However, Shevchenko was troubled by a constant back injury and insists that Chelsea fans never saw the best of him. Alexis Sanchez The move from Arsenal to United was nothing short of a disaster for Sanchez. He looked a shadow of his former self, playing at Old Trafford at his confidence quickly dwindled away under Mourinho. Sometimes I didn't play, then I did, then I didn't. And as a player, you lose confidence. Each player lost their confidence. Do you understand? Sanchez told BBC Sport in 2020. And then an atmosphere was created that wasn't healthy. Sometimes I'm playing well and I score a goal and he took me off. Deli Alley. The former Tottenham midfielder played his best football under Mauricio Pochettino, but Mourinho struggled to get that same spark out of him. A clip of Mourinho calling Ali lazy went viral in 2020, but Ali has since added some context to the situation. That lazy comment, people love to bring that up, Ali said on the overlap. That interview on Amazon, he called me lazy. That was the day after a recovery day. A week later he apologized to me because he'd seen me actually train and play. But that wasn't in the documentary and no one spoke up about that. In the team meeting, he called me lazy, but one-on-one, -on -one, I think it was on the pitch, he apologized for it. I didn't think anything of it at the time because I know I'm not lazy. Ricardo Quaresma There's no doubting Quaresma's talent, but his spell with Mourinho at Inter Milan didn't go to plan. Despite the Portuguese boss pushing for the signing himself, Quaresma quickly found himself down the picking order. My biggest regret was joining Inter, he told Portuguese newspaper Publico. My happiness and self-confidence were taken away from me. At one point I wasn't even called up anymore. I felt on the margins of the squad and woke up crying when I had to attend training sessions. I still haven't understood some things that happened with Mourinho. As soon as I arrived in Milan, it was made clear to me that I was only signed because Mourinho wanted me. Then, suddenly, I stopped playing. In the intricate tapestry of football, the relationships between managers and players are complex. Mourinho's managerial prowess is undeniable. But these eight players serve as a reminder that even the most successful tacticians face challenges in unlocking the full potential of every individual under their command. As these players continue their careers beyond Mourinho's tutelage, this serve as a reminder that football success is a complex interplay of talent, tactics, and interpersonal dynamics. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bells for more video on your favorite sport. Until the next one, please stay tuned.